In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Namecheap domain to your GitHub website. So if you watch this all the way until the end, you'll have your domain connected and I'll show you how to do it in a step-by-step -step format. So go to GitHub and then find your website. So here is my project. Now, if we go to settings in the top right-hand corner, you then scroll down and find pages. You'll then see your website URL. So my website URL is currently a GitHub subdomain. If I click on the link, you'll see it just goes to a very simple static page. This is just a website that I've created just for the video, right? Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll down to custom domain. And here we can go ahead and find our domain. We've already got registered on Namecheap. So I'm gonna to go to my account. I'm gonna to go to dashboard and we can find a domain. So I'll go to domain list and we will connect here this one, knowledgebasevideos.com. So we click into it and we wanna go ahead and manage it. So here is the back end of that domain. Now I'm going to copy the domain name. We'll go to custom domain. We'll type www. and then paste in the domain, which for me is knowledgebasevideos.com. We'll then click on save and it's going to try and do a DNS check. We haven't added any DNS records yet, so it's obviously not going to work. Now let's add the DNS record. So you need to go to custom domain and then click learn more about configuring custom domains. That will redirect you to this window. You want to then click manage a custom domain, then scroll down to configuring an Apex domain. So you don't have to read any of this. I'll show you what to do. All you need to do is scroll down until you get to this table with four A records. So first copy the first A record. We're going to add all four of these to our domain. So with the first A record copied, go into the DNS settings on Namecheap, go into the back end and then go to advanced DNS. Once you're here, go ahead and make sure you've got no current A records. If you have, delete all of your A records. Then go add new record. Then click A record for the host, type at. For the IP address, paste in the first one, click the green tick. Now we're going to do this three more times. So copy the second A record and then add new record, A record, at, paste in the IP address, click the green tick. So we'll just do this on camera two more times. And then after we've done this, we need to add one more record. So this is me now copying the final A record. Again, I hope you're following along. If this is helpful, leave a like and let me know in the comments. So now we've got all four A records added. Now on this same GitHub Docs page, uh, you wanna scroll down just a little bit and you'll get to configuring an Apex domain. It's gonna now tell you that you need to create a CNAME record for the www.subdomain and you essentially want to type and point it to your username.github.io. Now I'll show you how all that works right now and we'll add it together, I'll prove it works, right? So go back and the reason we're going back is because we just wanna to get to our GitHub profile so we can see our domain. So my domain is knowledgebaseyt. We're gonna to go to the DNS records of our domain on Namecheap again. We're gonna add one more record. So go add new record and then find CNAME record. Then where it says host, type www. Then for target, you want to type out here your domain, which in my case is knowledgebaseyt. So knowledgebaseyt.github.io. That's all you need to write. So your domain.github.io. Once you've done that, click the tick and you then should have a CNAME record pointing to your domain.github.io followed by four other A records. If you've got all of them records, you can then go back to your GitHub pages and it's gonna then check the domain again. You can refresh or click check again. I'll just refresh. Now it's going to take a while now for your DNS to propagate. It might take a couple of minutes. So I'll just be back when this is working. You just need to be patient though. So it's been a couple of minutes and the DNS check still hasn't confirmed. But I'll show you another way that you can check to see if it's working. Now, you need to believe me, this can take up to five hours. But as long as you've done everything I've shown you, it will connect. Now, if you click on your domain, it will probably be working. You might just get this not secure icon. Uh, you need to wait for the DNS service to propagate and the SSL certificate to be automatically generated. But this will be all done. You just have to wait. Now, another way that you can prove that it's working, if you go to Google and type in DNS checker and you click on that, you then paste in your domain name and click search. If everything here is green, it means you've done everything correct. You just have to wait for the DNS settings and the DNS servers to propagate. 
So again, just be patient. Uh, your website is working. If you click on the domain, just be patient here and wait for this to be green. Once this is green, everything should be fine. And that's how you do it.